Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be talking about how I styled headbands for seven days straight. I decided to make this video after my mother roasted me for having a lot of headbands and it's true. I do have quite a few. I've been wearing headbands since for a long time before they were cool like they are now. Because I like preppy style, headbands are always an element to that. And now that headbands are so popular, they're very much on trend, it's so easy for me to get my hands on them, especially really cute ones. So some of these headbands are four or five years old and some of them are newer. I recorded a clip of each day. I kind of struggle to get full outfit shots every day. So I just have mirror, OTDs and uh, other clips. Let's just get into it. The first headband I styled was this particular one from Stoneflower. Uh, I have two headbands from Stoneflower in this particular video. It is like an accessory shop. I believe there's one in Brooklyn. These were both bought in Austin but it's this really pretty green and orange and kind of a purpley blue floral. It's kind of unusual. It looks really good with a blue Oxford shirt. That's actually how I would style it a lot. Can't remember exactly what I wore it with that day, but here's that clip. So it's day one of styling headbands every day for a week. Uh, today I'm wearing this floral headband from Stoneflower. I'm just wearing this blue kind of chambray top. Uh, it's a little tight across the chest, but it's fine and white denim. I'll show you my outfit. Oh, better look out at my outfit. Here is the headband, little chambray top and white jeans and super gaz that are really dirty. There's lots of headbands over there. Um, I said before I'm gonna do a headband collection video at another point, but I'm waiting for the other one of these to come in. I do get a lot of wear out of this headband and that first day was a pretty good example of how I would style it. It's super easy to wear and I think I like this kind of width of headband as well. I do like printed headbands, you'll see that. The second headband I styled was also from Stoneflower. Uh, it's this kind of coral orange with white flowers with blue centers. Uh, I got it at the same time as the other one when I was in Boston a couple years ago. This is the clip from that day. Hello my dudes, it is day two of styling headbands for a week and today I'm going with this headband which is actually also from Stoneflower because I know I wore a Stoneflower one yesterday. I had intended on wearing this one from, I'll probably be wearing it later in the week, I think it's from, it's from Etsy, I think it's from a place called Marina's Closet, or else my large yellow one, but it just wasn't working with my makeup, which is accidentally very coral. So this one works perfectly and it has little white and navy dots on it and I'm wearing a navy t-shirt. Let me show you what I'm wearing. You can really see how much shorter my hair is now, I'm not okay with it. Um, I'm just wearing this navy and white striped Breton from Jack Wills and it's a little bit tight around here because it's a UK 8. I'm wearing my Madewell little crop flares and these wedges from Dunn Stores if you're Irish. These were honestly like the best thing I ever bought from Dunn's. Uh, super comfortable. I wear them all the time, especially because I'm fat too. I also get a lot of wear out of this headband because it's not too seasonal. That's one benefit of this one. Next up, I wore this super basic black headband. It is day three and today I'm wearing a plain black, kind of um, felt slash velvety feeling, uh, skinny headband and my hair is kind of dirty, but I'm also wearing this, color is going weird, leopard print t-shirt. I'll show you. I'm just wearing black jeans and I actually probably won't be leaving the house today. Um, I have a migraine. So even when I take pain relief, I can never film when I have migraines because it, it takes so long because I get so confused. Um, I thought it was just a regular headache, so that's why I got like all dressed and makeup and everything this morning. But I'll see, I took medication, so I'll see how I feel, but I will just show you what I'm wearing in the mirror because probably not gonna go much further than this today. So I have the headband here, just a plain black one. It's from Accessorize, I think. Um, and then this leopard print t-shirt, which honestly, such a great purchase. I wear this all the time. And then my black Madewell high-waisted jeans. Does anybody have this issue? Like, it's not like they're too tight. It's this stupid thing always opens up. And I'm currently wearing Ugg boots, but again, that's because I have a migraine and I get like really hot and then really cold. And my feet are always like, 
icicles. So that is day three's outfit. Headbands like this are honestly really good if you are having a not so great hair day. I have obviously like wavy hair and sometimes if you touch it too much that can be a problem. So if you've just freshly washed your hair, sometimes using a little skinny headband to hold it back really prevents you from touching it and making it greasy. Um, but I get a lot of wear out of these, mostly in the winter. I have this particular style, it's kind of a velvety feel. I have, and it's very skinny. I have it in black, navy and maroon. I have to say my favourite headband in this whole thing is this one. This is a newer headband. It's my, is it my newest? No, it's not. I got this headband just before I left New York. It's from Anthropology, and it's a seersucker material with two shades of pink but they're both a lighter pink and it obviously has a knot um, and it's pretty wide actually here and this style of headband I wasn't the biggest fan of at first but I've really warmed up to it I love this and it's so pink pink's my favorite color I can't remember exactly but I believe it is day four now and today I'm wearing this super cute knotted headband from anthropology that I got pretty recently it is a pink and white seersucker amazing and I have to pull down this top so I can show you what my actual outfit is. Obviously I'm wearing pink eyeshadow, pink lipstick, pearls, but that's pretty typical for me. Um, and then I'm gonna show you this top, which is actually off the shoulder. So the outfit that I'm wearing today is this top that I showed in my like back to school haul. It's from Esprit, it's from their like organic range. It's actually super long, so I have it tucked in. These are just jeans from Gap and my Jack Rogers and pink nail polish and stuff like that. But I think this is a really cute outfit. I might get my mother to take a picture of me in this because I think it's cute. My hair is really, really wavy today. This is definitely my most expensive headband, but I have no regrets because I know I'm gonna wear it so, so much. And if I'm wearing a neutrals, I can wear this. Or if I'm wearing pink, I can also wear this. So. Perfect. We went back to basics on this date with this really simple platinum headband. It was a very much lazy Sunday. I'll just roll that clip. Pretty sure we're on day five. I might be wrong, but today we're just going with a simple metallic headband because I'm just wearing a super, super casual outfit. I'm just going out to brunch with my family because my brother's just back from a holiday. So I'll just show you what I'm wearing. So today again, just that. I'm wearing a plain blue t-shirt. This kind of got necklace and my ripped jeans and Jack Rogers. This kind of headband is perfect if you don't have a headband to match your outfit. So this one works because I wear a lot of metallic shoes. I have two pairs of metallic shoes and a metallic bag. So platinum, always a win. Second to last, we have a big old statement headband. <laughs> this giant yellow one. I got this in a local boutique and it's very on trend. I'm not so sure how I feel about this like puffy headband, but I'm getting used to it. Uh, it's kind of a woven material, as you'll see, and it's comfortable, it's cute, and it was, it was a fly. It was just a really sunny day, so we're kind of running out of those at this point in the year. So I decided I would wear some sunshine too. Day six, and I'm really tired of wearing headbands. <laughs> But today I'm wearing my bright yellow woven one that I got. I showed this in a haul recently. I got this in Brass Boutique in my hometown. So I'm wearing it with this ASOS top. It's actually nice outside today, which is unusual for Ireland. And I'm just wearing ripped jeans and I'll show you it like all together. Um, it's a pretty big headband. And usually I would wear it with um, other jeans, but that's a long story. It's a pretty big bright headband but I will kind of give you a quick overview of what I'm wearing in the mirror. So as I said it's one of these big headbands that are I think it's kind of after Prada um it's the thing why these ones are like you know you see those big velvet ones like the bigger statement um this top from ASOS it's maybe two years old and is very much adjusted because I'm very short and then just these ripped jeans from Gap and I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear honestly but that is it. Second last day. I think I know what headband I'm going to wear tomorrow, saving the best to last. I'm really done with wearing headbands. I do really like this headband. Uh, I don't regret buying it at all, but I also don't think I'm going to get that much wear out of it compared to a lot of my other ones. And lastly, we have the one on my head. I'll show you what I filmed earlier. I'm just waiting for someone to pick me up and I remembered I needed to film a clip for today. So today, best to last, day seven, I'm wearing this Lily Pulitzer headband. Um, it's obviously not 
made by Lily, but it's a Lily fabric. Um, I believe the Etsy shop I got it from is called Marina's Closet. I'll link them down below. They have so many cute headbands. And I have it paired with this little peplum top and dark jeans. And you can't see those because they're washed out, but they're these metallic Ugg slip-ons. But I'll show you a better view later, hopefully. But I love this headband. Full look at today's outfit. Got these shoes on. This little peplum top to hide my very bloated stomach and this headband just obsessed show you closer so cute this headband is definitely one of my favorites of my whole collection because it is a lily print um it is a bit big and can be kind of hard to style because of the colors that are in it as well as i know i won't be wearing it in the winter because i live in ireland and there's just no way around that but i do really love this headband and i think I wear it like very casually, but I definitely think you could dress it up for something if you wanted. So that is how I styled headbands for a full week. I'm honestly really excited to not have to put a headband on every morning now because I do love them, but I don't necessarily want to wear one every single day. I think I'm going to do like an autumn winter edition of this video as well because a lot of my headbands that I didn't wear are more in that area. Uh, they're darker colours and you know, different prints and things like that. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Uh, I have some others like it, as I said, coming soon. Check out some of my other videos while you're here and I will see you in my next video.